Today we mark a grim milestone, seven years of conflict in Syria, brutal, intensifying and unending conflict, a conflict marked by indiscriminate attacks on neighborhoods, on schools and hospitals, on children. Last year was the deadliest year yet for Syrian children, and in the first two months of this year, an estimated 1,000 children were killed or injured. Many children awaken each day, wondering if their neighborhood will be next, if they will have enough to eat, if their schools and hospitals are still there, or if they will be victims of the explosive devices, weapons, or landmines scattered throughout Syria. Children with disabilities, including those disabled by the fighting, are especially vulnerable. Without access to services, schools, and products like wheelchairs, they risk being forgotten. This Lebanese painting of a lone boy standing dazed amidst the rubble of his city shows the lost innocence of a generation of Syrian children. It was inspired by a heartbreaking poem written by Hussein, a 13-year-old boy from Aleppo. He wrote, my homeland where I used to play in its fields and squares. Over 2.5 million Syrian children have fled the fighting. 90% have gone to neighboring countries who have generously opened their doors to these young lives, despite their own economic hardships. Young people like Basil, who was paralyzed in the fighting, now 17 years old and safe in Lebanon, Basil has become a talented violinist thanks to weekly lessons and practice at a UNICEF-supported center. He says, Today when I play, I can make the violin laugh or cry for me. And last week in Lebanon, I met young Syrian women and girls who told me of the challenges they faced, like violence, early marriage, and lack of education. But they also told me of their determination to forge better lives for themselves. Despite their heartbreak, they remain hopeful. Why? Because they can see the help around them, governments, host countries, donors, NGOs, and UN agencies like UNICEF giving them safe haven, education and training, food and medicine, and a future. Their hope is reflected in our work, scaling up support for children inside and outside of Syria, supporting the dreams of young people like Basel, fighting for access to besieged neighborhoods renewing our calls for immediate stop to the fighting, demanding that the protection of children be paramount at all times. The world cannot afford another seven years of destruction. Children cannot afford a single day of it. As we mark this alarming milestone, let us answer children's hopes with a renewed call to end the carnage. The future of Syria demands it, the children of Syria deserve it.